Welcome to the Fragments of Eternity, which is the Starfinder game I run. It is session 50, that's 5-0. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 20th of April, 2020. Here are the players. Hello. I'm Deco. Playing Zora. That best guy. Good evening, Tucson. Uh, I am Colin. I will be playing Lyco Quinn, the... I always forget the word, but space rogue operative. That's it. Mm. Hello to all you wasteland survivors. It is I, Alex, playing Beard, also known as Nix Five Point Five, the android mechanic, here to fix all of your problems. Except that one. Don't look at it. Good evening. I am Callum, and I'll be playing Zig, the mystical space rat from the Sun. Everyone's favorite little rat boy. Yes. Genuinely. Apart from maybe yours. Uh, I don't know if it's your connection or if you're screeching too loudly at the mic, but... I am uh, screeching. I do yeah, apologize. Okay. No, it's his connection <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> no. No, my, connection, my connection has been going a bit funny. Today. It's better now. Yeah, it does sound robotic. It okay. sounds like connection roboticism. It's true. What do you say? It is going to be one of those better sessions. Devil, you know. So, don't worry about it. Discord has been a pain in the ass all around lately. Yeah. Oh. Discord. The world is struggling with an internet drought. The world is a vampire. <laughs> I'm this in the bin, Colin. <laughs> anyway, a great recession for the on that. That's the question. Speaking of session, um, who remembers what happened last time? Drama. I got some drama. Drama. Uh, it was very <laughs> raised voices. Mummy and Daddy fought. Yeah, I feel like Chandler like Bing. <laughs> I don't know about your Alex, but I mean, I, I, I was pretty cool heated. Uncle, quite frankly. <laughs> I'm always heated when I talk to you, Ryan. Excellent. Don't forget the cool uncle. <laughs> Level up for <laughs> <Alex>. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Imagine that. Imagine a game where you literally had to just, like, con the GM into leveling you up. That was the whole game. So you could go the entire game level one if you didn't want to bother. But the trick is just, what can you do to make the GM agree you've leveled up? <laughs> and there's no no take backsies either. So as soon as they you've tricked them into saying it, done. <laughs> that was technically what Star Wars was, though. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That was technically what you were telling us to do. That it's like right. So what can we say that makes Ryan go mm -hmm, five x feet? Mm -hmm, Ten x. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, yeah I, I did offer my players the chance to pay me a pound to re-roll any roll and <laughs> level up. I like Nothing. that. You know what? Yeah, I, I like that. that. It gives them a sense of progress. So and, what um, you're saying is you became the paper transactions. Yeah, yeah, make, make yeah. your transactions in your pen and paper. You I do not judge, Mr. I was going to say, I'm, I was about to explain. Um, so in the, the Wednesday game, uh, here's just a hot take for anyone listening, and I'm open to being bought, especially with no income or job. Uh, the the Wednesday game, everybody chipped in some money and we bought like the Wild Mount content um, from Roll20, which was nice, so people all chipped in we bought that for Roll20 and then it, I'll, I'll explain in a second why that was a good and terrible decision, and um, that led to Mangy, Callum's flatmate, Callum. Uh, yeah, that's mm. that helps. I, yeah. It led to him selling me five quids first, then one sixty nine instead of just the six quid initially, right? That ever did chipped in towards the content. Mm -hmm. So he sent me the one sixty nine, and he sent me a message that he assumed must have thought it explained the whole thing, but it just left me with more questions. So, instead of saying, do you want the 69 pence back, I just said, you're the barbarian and you've got a mace, do you want me just to give you like a shield and maybe some gold in the game for that overpayment? And um, so I gave him 50 gold and a shield. So, then I, as soon as I did that, I went, God, I've become so pay to win, I've sold out already. Like, it's just bad. And I thought of the concept of, I don't think I'm against a game specifically aimed at people paying for progress. If it was limited to like a specific game and people knew what they were getting into, and by that I mean buying into, obviously. So Bill Gates, please call us. We have the table for you. <laughs> yeah. Also, I am out, boys. if Bill Gates could supply the tech table for us to run at as well, that'd be glorious. I, um, I mean, I'd be happy to take any table. Right now. Maybe some staff to kind of, you know, supply do the, the free work and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Corona, they're called interns. Vector tours, towers, to 
Oh no. No, don't worry about it. The beer's got to you already. Yeah. It's fuck off. Anyway, what else happened in the <laughs> last session? <laughs> Anything? Heat of the moment. We continued speaking with the, the Bob. I leveled up. <laughs> the, yeah, the egg was reclaimed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put in some There's coordinates. Just... Some, some piece of property reclaimed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Treated around I mean, like true, a piece so. of meat. Uh, wow. Egger uh, went to get some sugar water. I'm glad you said it. I was about to. Yeah, he 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 got back. He got better. More hmm. more worth the point. He got better. And uh, yeah, he, he went and he fucked off. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. That that was he was definitely eager to be rid of me. I think we 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 felt was was a takeaway. I'm gonna say we felt it was a takeaway. I mean, you pretty explicitly said it, so you know that's a pretty good reason to think it. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and therefore, uh, a witch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or a duck. We're not sure. If um, she weighs as much as a duck, she's made of wood. There was a bit of a wee argument in the shuttle. It almost caused we the family to split up, and then I yeah. did not. Nah. I did not either. Nico, are you just seeing that image? Yeah. yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. It's so, that nice. Yeah. Definitely nice. Um, that would be like the sequel ship, obviously, when the budget gets bigger. Um, but anyway, the session pretty much ended with her collapsing as well, the Droid Queen, which she's finally learned her name was Thanida. Thanida. As a uh, weird was polite enough to ask her, um, then polite enough to have a, an argument with her, which is good. Very mm. air clearing, yeah. you could say. I want to make sure that it kind of was balanced out. Yeah, yeah. I think it was good. It was like a, what is your name? Good. Now that the pleasantries have been dispensed with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. I need to know your name so I can curse you. <laughs> uh, well, let's have a look at the, the goals, shall we? Oh, I'm on the wrong page. You're what? I'm on the wrong page. Yeah. Well, though. Aha! Uh -huh. So, goals. Goals! Yes. Uh, find a suitable source of income while on Akaton. I'm a cool with I don't know. I, like I should probably do something about the Queen. But in terms of like actually get her fixed and maybe like try and like speed? Come on. Like, like maybe reconcile but not so much re yeah, reconcile, right. We'll call it reconcile, right. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Probably. Right, so we've got find a suitable source of income on Akaton. What's your thoughts on that as a team? What's the plan? Do you want to keep pursuing that, or do you want to? Well, I think my uh, my goal ties in nicely with it, so yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think, uh... That's just one for. I mean, others may differ, and they're wrong if they do. But they I mean, might. we can keep that. We do need funds as a thing. I don't think we can just rely on the bank of Fenida. Like, well, you can't, can't all our lives. Yeah. Like so. We've got any income. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. A few. Money yeah. is useful, yeah. It funds the adventure, yep. I think we're all kind of broke now. Mm -hmm. I've got like, I've yeah. got like 4k and that's like kind of changed to actually live for everybody. <laughs> 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 like, I'd, like, that's pretty much like taxi fares and transport that shit that's probably going to be needed Food, for us. Like, you know. so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, there is probably money you use on me in, like, retrospect for food, but we're just overlooking that for the sake of not having you starve to death. I do have a lot of rations that I did until we left, like, the thingy hanging the 11th hour. So I have, the, uh, yeah, I have the Remember those grains of corn he had? <laughs> the, uh, the grain. Did he actually go yeah. and buy all of that shit? No, yeah, I had, I, I had like, I spent okay, like I'm pretty sure 500 all that green... at the end of the game. I'm sure yeah, yeah, oh, sorry, the end of the character creation. And I decided, 
a shit ton of rations, shit ton of ammo. I think it was like 35 crates of green, I think, or some shit it was, and it's all still on the 11th hour in a warehouse. It was captain and stuff. Like, stop is not having to worry about food, ever. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> like, if you remember from the cutscene, that's where um, Robo Alice went into the, the crate of grain and like put her hand in it and pulled out the golden D20 machine. And then that teleported you guys to like the dragon cave. I did have that. I, had to, I had like 40 fucking ra- fueled rations as well or something like that. We to should start sell the... G- right, get the... Get the, the ship back, right? Irradiate the green. And sell it as Miracle Green. <laughs> <laughs> to who? Sparks? Like... Yeah, yeah, assorted denizens of the fucking mutation pet. You can make some porridge if we're ever starving in the middle of space, alright? You'll be fine. Just need to nip all the way over to verses first, yeah? I mean, it, that was the thought, like, yeah. it would obviously not have the 11th hour anywhere, and it pretty much covered us for, like, 35, 40 sessions, so it's fine. <laughs> F5 probably was really in it. Probably I, yeah. Um okay, so final simple source of income well in Akaton, right? Yeah, valid. Uh, happy to keep then, it seems yeah, like yeah, people keep, are I'll keep on board. Uh, then we've got establish healthy boundaries between Thnida, Weird and Zig. Yes. How's everybody else feeling about that? I think it's an admirable goal. <laughs> well, I think the the healthy boundaries should be between the crew, though, because it's not just like a thing. Like a massive physical distance. <laughs> like, solar distancing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, so, what about that, then? What, what do you think of uh, Zora's input on that one, given that... I don't care about the rest of the crew. Wow. No, I'm kidding. Because uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is a pretty big void like, between everybody, really. Well, minus maybe... Actually, in this case, like, wow, he's going to make my dream come true. Session neutral. 50, he's actually work as a party. <laughs> no, nope. kind of been neutral. <laughs> it's like, surely not now, right? <laughs> not after 50 sessions. Oh dear. Um. Yes, the party members. The uh, party members. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, then we've got get in touch with <laughs> Lahora. Final and CC. Um, Lahora. That's that's correct. <laughs> oh, you know, I think. <laughs> I think it's it's not aura because that'd be no oro is gold, or is it heart? I don't remember. Corazon is heart. Heart. I always confuse the two because there's a song called Heart of Gold in Spanish by Rans. Anyway. Yes, so how do people feel about the getting in touch with uh, the final hour and uh, Conspiracy Craig? Positive, um, leaning towards very positive. What about everybody else? Cool. Good, good input. Mm-hmm. You're cool, but what about the, your thoughts on the goal? I mean, it's, I mean, it's going cool. <laughs> I mean, the get in touch with Lahora final and what, what, what is Lahora actually? The final hour. The final hour. Alright, go. Yes. <laughs> adapt or die, fine. Nico. Adapt or die. How did you do? I only... I, 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 as I read it, I learned it wasn't reading the final hour, so I just read what I saw <laughs> and had to Obviously. translate on the fly. So here we are. Adapt, adapt and, and or die. Something. Adapt and or die. Yeah. I thought Lahora was maybe something separate or from die the trying. Part. I should have <laughs> final went final hour, but I was like, well, horror, is that something different? Like, no, horror final. Right, but cool, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. I mean, that's pretty much primary objective, probably, mm-hmm. in Sora's eyes. And then we've got go speak at Ramasetu about contact and Qbob. Indeed. And, uh, I feel like you mean yes, with. That's correct. I feel really like you mean with, but at seems valid enough. <laughs> it does seem descriptive. Mm-hmm. Everybody happy with that one? Mm-hmm. I hope Zig isn't giving us any input on this because you are muted. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to just re- recap us on your thoughts on all the goals, Zig? Um, yeah, sounds good. 
<laughs> what, what, specifically? Lot of reply. what specifically? What specifically? Yeah, it just like, sounds good, you yeah. know. Just, it all sounds good. <laughs> Are you playing the teenager from some... the Simpsons? The Simpsons even? Like, I said uh, from the Simpsons uh, is what I said there. <laughs> <laughs> from the symptoms. From the symptoms. Yes, definitely. That's a missed joke <laughs> on their part during this COVID times, by the way. Just saying. Uh, um, uh, yeah, talk me at it. Go. Yes. Okay. Find a suitable source of income with Akaton. I was like, well, I get. Well, Colin said that kind of ties in with his anyway. And I was like, well, in order for me to do mine, or I say me to do mine for us to work on mine. We probably need to spend some time on Akaton anyway, so having mm -hmm. some form of um, Stuck, yeah, income slash digs would be... Yeah, we need to await our need. chariot's arrival. Establish the boundaries between the party well. member, singular, and I said, ah, just the one. Nobody, mm -hmm. nobody said anything. I was like, oh, okay. I said that Bessie's travel yeah. time as well in this game. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's the same speed as Lop. The drift to travel here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm very keen to get in touch with the final hour, uh -huh, if you must know. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and, and Conspiracy Craig, I want them autographs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So at the very least, I don't think it's autographs two days. type. But we could be up here for at least 12 days, like, depending on that. It's like 1d6, was it? 1d6? Sure. Is, is it? So, draw, actually. I'd... Yeah. Drift draw. Yeah. So I just bump up basically two to twelve days or so I've got to be here. See, I realised why that made more sense, right? So I, I always hated that about this system, right? Because it was weird as fuck and I couldn't wrap my head around it. Then I realised the planets move. Yeah. All differently. And I'm like, oh yeah, I guess they would be different yeah, distances apart. Really so I guess it does make sense just to simplify it down to a D6 role. Uh, that's it, why I was one. That's why I was questioning that because mm -hmm. I was like, because not all planets would be the same distance. Because uh, I was like, fuck it, like, <laughs> I was like. I think the reason why it's different is because it's between planets in this game, whereas other games it's between stars. They judge the like the jumping, so the jump. Yeah, because this is within a solar system. Yeah. So this would be like the travel time when you finally land at a star, because in stars without number, it's be you need a star to catch you in its gravity well, so you can jump to them. If it's not got a star, you can't go there, because you, you wouldn't stop. Nothing would pull you out of a uh, drill space, as they call it. So I think that's kind of cool. Mm. Also horribly volatile. It's just the Mass Effect way of jump near a giant gun and get launched across space until something heavy catches you. <laughs> um, or massive by definition. Um, but yeah, so goals. Big large. Goals. Yeah. Uh, any other thoughts on Cubob and the contact of Ramasethu, Colin? Um, oh, yeah, Colin. He's <laughs> <laughs> asking me. That's a lesson uh, light travel. That's drift travel. That's amazing. Uh, it's, um, no, I think it's, I think we're probably going to manage it this session. Okay, good. I like the optimism. Or at least to uh, set the seeds for it, because I'm going to... I've Zig. set in the, the coordinates and I'll fire off a message or something to... What were your goals? I don't want Zig to meet Bob. Um, but yeah, discover why Edgar is slash was on Akaton, or if he even was. Dun 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 dun. Well, I guess... I mean, we know he probably was. <laughs> we can be fairly confident that now, although I haven't told you that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only... So you might need to find that. Well, I mean, yourself. anyone can anyone can complete the goals. So I'm, I'll just cross out the that bit there. Uh, is it... you don't... Yeah, Colin, Colin got that half. Go. <laughs> I uh, I know, but the par I, I I think I know, but the party doesn't. Yeah, but well, no, that's the thing. That's all you need. All you need is to think. You know, I trust your judgment. <laughs> Those no, I'm nice. saying that half of the quest is done. Quest master, give me a boon. Um, no, no. Sorry. Quest master. Quest master, quest master, give me a boon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give me a boon. Oh, Mister so Quest master, give me a boon. <laughs> give me a boon. <laughs> I must have a boon. Anyway, give me a boon. Let us jump boon. back into the action, boon. then, shall we? This time on Starfinder. Yes. So, <laughs> the camera starts in space, and you see Akaton in orbit of the sun, and then sailing around it 
we see the beautiful blue energy seals of the azure flare and then the camera just slowly falls to Akaton all the way down through the Akatonian environment snakes its way over all the deserts past some of the ice caps and then down towards the city of Daza in which case it goes through a weird big smog cloud over Daza just now all the way down into one of the hangar bays that you are at at the edge of the city and through the uh, glass reflective roof of the shuttle you are in and then the camera settles on you guys all standing around the unconscious body of the queen I just kind of sigh like radiation go bit radiation right Uh, you know, I'm going to shrug and uh, attempt to pick her up and, you know, I was muted. Put her somewhere. Perhaps. Yeah, where are you putting her? Do you want to put her in, like, a chair or something? Yeah, yeah. Perhaps she should have worn a protective suit. I would not, and I'd like... You can tell as well, this. so, like, oh, what you, when you pick her up as well, you can... Maybe get a clearer look, obviously, again, because she is still, like, naked. Like, she's, um, pretty, like, her skin's kind of, like, broken and cracked and definitely some yeah. weird shit happening. It doesn't just look like, like solar damage, if that makes sense, or star damage, you know. Yeah. What was that, Zora, you were saying? Um, ah, uh, she could perhaps use this old suit and I'll tap on myself because i got a new one mm. if I'm taking it anyway uh, need adjustments to fit but I'm sure so our, uh, wait 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 you're going to give her your Vesk Brigadine so your actual like yeah, ceremonial yeah, yeah, yeah. clothing yeah, 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 I'll get it. Right. Not your ceremonial clothing, okay. you know what I mean? Like your racial clothing is what I really want. I'll get it. Right. I appreciate it, yeah. it, but. It's fine. It's fine. I wish you would. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty pretty deal for you, to be honest. That's like your Vesk gear. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I'm a progressive. I'm a bit <laughs> progressive. <laughs> Vesk. <laughs> yeah, all I'm of us went for Provesk. Yeah. I'm a Provesk. Mm -hmm. Vesk. <laughs> okay. I'm a Provesk. Okay, so that's in the contenders for the title, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose noticing how bad she is, I'll, uh... uh so, let me think. Uh, well, the last thing Weird said was, I know, a do I know a guy, I think, or something like that, or yes. I know a doctor. It was something like, I can't make the exact wording, but yeah, it was I like, know a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I would suggest do we, uh, do we want to take her there, or... Did he make house call? I think we'd best take her there. Yeah. Get her in the suit, doesn't need the fit. Yeah, so long yeah. as it covers her up. That's, I suppose, a thing, but, uh... Yeah, we better... I mean, it's probably about, like, two in the morning or some shit, right? Maybe later? Yeah, but this is a shithole, there'll be something. I don't mean that the place will be shut, I just mean just for your own, like, sense of time. <laughs> there'll be people coming in, Doctor, I've been shot! Every hour of the day. Yeah. Um, in that accent. Um... So it wasn't that long ago that um, Weird was there. Realised that if it's the same place he's thinking of. Yep. With a, uh, I guess I'm just calling him Morty, because that's kind of how he acted. So. so... I'm just going to bust into his place. <laughs> Um, he's he's an old Jewish man then apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, Alaiko is um, yeah. So I will uh, return kind of to the the terminal and, and look at it sort of not longingly like with in a manner that suggests he's eager to get moving. Sort of thinking aloud. Mm, we uh, probably shouldn't leave her there alone though. Uh, who wants to watch over her? 
I would, but I don't think I've got it. But the face that you want to see. <laughs> I'd rather not, but I also know where I'm going, so. Plus, you're strong. She should be easy for you to carry. True. So flexing all four arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suspect that Ramaseth is probably interested in speaking to me specifically. So do we... Take the rest of us to. What was the name of the location again? What's the other city? It's a thingy. I'll move us to the map, shall I? It's the, yeah, the one on the opposite side, the marketplace kind of area. Dun. Hive Market. So do we head to Hive Market and. Yeah, because it's somewhere in, like, in between Hive Market, the Shears, and the High uh, Shanzu. Like, somewhere in there is the crash site. Reunite at a later date because that's where the directions are sending us. And, uh, I really wanted to go there, but fine. There, you could always send Zig. <laughs> <laughs> there's little reason to. There's little reason to think that we will be out of here too soon. So I suppose you get an opportunity. As long as I can go delving into some crashed ships, I'll be happy. So the reason the Okay. The crashed ships probably not conducive to your good health. Uh, bone said stuff. <laughs> yeah, how much have you told weird about um, what the buff said? <laughs> yeah, so... The uh, the dealer we spoke to, um, interesting guy, wants some... Um, Absolute sleazeball, quite frankly. <laughs> he wants stuff from Eoxian ship, so some, bring him some tech as a sort of a notice of good faith so that we can establish a trading relationship and maybe we can get some good deals off of him, access to some off book stuff, who knows? Uh, and probably a pretty penny. Uh, I will be. It, it, he has uh, strongly indicated that only people with my particular condition have been able to, uh, or will be able to approach the ships. Okay. I'm assuming that means massive amounts of negative energy are flowing from them. Uh, that being the case, and given the location, it seems to be... It seems to be around about where we've been directed by Ramaseth. So, my current plan, and please... Feel free to interrupt me if you see any holes in it. Is uh, we take some of our number, or we take as much of our number as we can over to Hive Market from there, venture south ish, arrange me to meet with uh, Ramasethu if we can. If not, we head towards the ship until we're at a safe enough distance and hope we find her, I guess. Um, on establishing contact with her, I will try and uh, I will try and see if I can obtain some trinkets to give to the uh, individual. Um, that would uh, resist token of her. to make screeching noises, just so you know, Colin. And, uh, and show that we were actually able to get the goods. Uh, having done that, I would then perhaps be able to return, find some bigger pieces, maybe make some profit, maybe get some good deals off. It's, it, the idea is to uh, open a nice little exchange with the guy. He does seem to be... He seems more knowledgeable than he at first appears. He He's definitely plugged in. I mean, he's, he's a... He's, he's an underground arms dealer, so no surprise there. 
So does a weird one to make like a will save to not want to go so that you just heard salvage Eoxian tech? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got enough of a sense of duty. Okay. To, uh, but I will be making a leisure trip to those ships if we have to. Uh, <laughs> if those guys get what they need first. Yeah. Maybe hit up the old crew. So, my other little idea is to, before we head to the Hive Market, contact Conspiracy Greg and arrange to meet him there. If possible. Mm -hmm. Seems like a place he might be interested in. I am hoping that perhaps through him we can establish a, a fairly secure means to contact the final R. Good. He seems like the, the the guy to go to for secure communications. Thanks back to your phone you gave him. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm not saying secure on my end, but I'm sure he can make things secure. Um, so, if can't stop the signal. If there's, a, <laughs> if there's a, um agreement in that, then I'm happy to contact him now. Not, I suppose. I, I suppose. Yeah, I would not. Sounds like a but as solid a plan as any at this point. Captain, um, and I was sort of like raising my communicator, which I probably already had out, and and, and look between the other two, Weird and uh, and Zig, just to sort of get a sense of how they're feeling about the, what I've been saying, and like no one's objected audibly, but do I detect any hesitance or? The queen objects within her like <laughs> weird radiation and just coma. So yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Next one's just one of those things. Um, weird. Like, got, like, <laughs> did you did you forget this <laughs> time? Yeah, yeah. Like, I did. Nice. Fiftieth nice. session. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, Cam. Uh, yeah, no, Zig just has a, a, a very concerned expression. Um, but I think I think you'd if, like if you're looking between them, I think he would just kind of take a moment and then just nod. Okay. So, who's going where? Uh, um, Weird picks up the queen. Yep. I nod at him. Because and he as, knows I'm, the way. as I'm saying this, I am like fiddling away with my com communicator, contacting Craig. I think uh, I think Zig would just go. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'll um. I'll go. I'll. And then kind of like nod to to Nix. I'll I'll I'll. Stay. Too weird. Too weird. Eh. Too weird. Okay. I uh, but uh, I wouldn't feel right letting mm -hmm. you go out alone. So I'm coming with you. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Um. I suppose. Oh, <laughs> who have we dropped? Alex. Oh. Fuck. Okay. I'm going with you guys. <laughs> 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 uh, Welcome no, back, no. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I suppose it makes more sense to make sure everyone is accompanied. Yeah, go in pairs. That makes sense. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 You're back. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Back. If Not you want a special concerned. additional piece of content, Alex, listen back to just as you disconnected. <laughs> um. uh, <laughs> Not that I'm too concerned about you getting into any more scrapes. I mean, I'm sure you've learned that lesson, and I don't think Edgar means any harm. I think you're right. If anything, he's probably looking out for you. I think Zig would kind of just scratch the back of his head um, have that sort of maybe slightly embarrassed looking. Um, oh, and uh, quite, so I'm footing away in my, th in my thing, okay, and uh, you know, communicating with, with Craig, sending a message. Probably something just akin to Hive market, traveling within the hour, you know, something like that, and uh, 
still n not taking my eyes off them. Still looking very much like I'm paying attention. I would just like beep Zig a message saying he's alive. Okay. Um. If he even checks his phone. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe maybe it would it would like it would beep and I think Zig would get a maybe a wee bit of a a, a jump and you know, realize he's it's, it's he's actually got this. Beefy thing, and you you know pick it up and look at it. I think yeah. maybe the screen's a bit too bright. Uh. Yeah, and there's probably like I don't know a couple of hundred messages from <laughs> Solar Facts dot Sol, you know. And, yeah, uh, I got like you know forty three thousand unread emails and all from that one site about Solar Facts. Um, oh and, yeah, and, then one uh, and maybe Michael. like one, yeah. <laughs> And then, like, a couple of missed calls from, from the crew. <laughs> yeah. That's very right. Yeah, that's very right. And instead of, instead of marking any as red, he just swipes it away for mm -hmm. to, to deal with it later. But never that's what I do. That's <laughs> pretty much what I do as well. As somebody yeah, who schedules this game, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, he would look at the communicator, kind of look up at Lyco, look back, and... I think he would cock his head slightly and go Gordon's alive Like that, yeah. Yes. Ratman dive <laughs> Um <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna say that next time I'm flying in space. Um <laughs> Yeah, <Next> same time. <laughs> I'm sure there's time in the past. Sure. Aye. So, um, yeah, like, is there any other reaction to, like, is it just you kind of looking a bit confused back to Lyco about the message you just got saying he's alive? Yeah, well, um, I think, I think it would take Zig a second before he realises who he's talking about, because they weren't, obviously, talking uh, about Edgar yeah. in, in, like, the immediate, um... I mean, I was, to, to that. just briefly. Yeah. Um, I just like stick my communicator in a pocket, maintain a fairly, you know, maintain poker face, and turn round and go to the console. I think yeah. then it would kind of like maybe then it would dawn on Zig as he kind of like, as Lyco maybe turns around, and um, I think Zig would kind of half, like, high twitch, maybe half smile, then half not, and then. <laughs> I don't know, have a fit. <laughs> no, he's not going to have a fit. But, yeah, just kind of turn around, put the communicator back on his um, little belt. And I think while you're having that conversation without conversating, I think we've got Zora and uh, Weird trying to put the Queen into the, the vest. Yeah, yeah, I, I got changed and put her in the mold, so... I'm bagging up her dress. I tried. <laughs> you're putting her dress there too, yeah. Making sure she's got something to wear. Just, yeah, and anything else we need. You know, just make a day bag of it. <laughs> cool. It's like, just just manage a it parts of the bottles <laughs> from the decanter and stuff like that. In the day bag. <laughs> day drinking for the day bag. Um, yeah, I can pack up like a, a travel bag or whatever um, yep. from the shuttle supplies. And uh, yeah, like, do you ready to leave? Uh, is it going with you? I take it. Uh-huh. Yeah, although I'm tempted to send him away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. I'll just be kidnapped. There's not an alleyway on the way to the medical center. Yeah. Half is the best. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so I just want to make. Do you want to head out there then? Yep. Cool. Is there a plan for rendezvousing? Was that ever actually discussed as a group? <laughs> we'll call you. Okay. Yes. Nod. Nod of approval <laughs> to that plan. Oh, yeah, in fact, no, I'll tell you what, I'll give you this point. Nod, and then, oh, and, uh, when she wakes up, um, emphasize that it was my idea to take her ship to a different city. Yes. I'm sure that she will be calm and sensible with this information. I imagine that she'll be more tolerant of it from me. Yes. If I don't see you again, good luck. Uh, 
<laughs> I, I hope she wakes up in a better mood. Um, I hear radiation poisoning does that to you. Yeah. It, I don't know. It seems... Anyway, it seems I, bad. Like, it's more than that. I, I don't know. Speaking of which, we should probably get our medical attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Joking let's, around let's, here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's like rattling around inside this vest armor. Cocoon. Throw her over the what shoulder. Guys? Yep. Clunked over the shoulder. Which shoulder? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You have a selection. Um, Thanks, Lyco. Try not to have too much fun without us. Trying. This weird sighs and walks out the door. Clunk, 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 clunk. I think Zig would do that. Armor. The classic just walking away, you know, waving behind him. <laughs> the classic getting lost instantly. Yeah. Um, yeah Looks so back, waves off the ship as it goes goes away and then turns around and weird and the queen are gone. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you turn around, you're on like Castraval again. How does this keep happening? Um, when am I? Turn around. He's in water somehow. Desmond Moonbear. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you've got. Um, you know, they're way back to that place anyway. Uh, weird, sorry. So, yeah, you can yes. navigate that way. And obviously, Zig can tag along. Um, so, you can make your way there. Uh, while you are on the way, are you stopping off anywhere for noodles? No, this or just heading straight? Yeah, I th that's good. Straight there. Good plans. And um, yeah, beyond that. While they two leave, I, the shuttle door like seals back up again, the kind of double airlocky type thing, and it's just used to as like Zora suits up in his new armor. Whoop. Mm -hmm. So what happens with you two? So, uh, should I fly this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. I can manage. I think. Uh, um, there's gonna be like I'm gonna quite, some piling. There's gonna be quite a few hours to get there. By the way, like you would, you two choices: fly from where you are to where it is in a straight line, which might take a while, like a day, or fly up to orbit and back down like a triangle. Which might okay. be a little quicker. Let's see how competent you are. <laughs> so, I, 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 the latter sounds more difficult, but I'll try. Yeah, I've got an alright little bonus from a pilot. Yeah, give it a go then. Yep. So I'll give that a go. I, I did press it, but it doesn't seem to be going. So, oh, no, it went. Yeah, it got here. Internet problems sort of thing. It's okay. I was doing that all the time for me. Michael's <laughs> the pilot now. It's bad. <laughs> We're all the pilot now. Um. But yeah, so yeah, you like you managed to get it like working, and I think for the most part the shuttles like, oh, you want to go back up to orbit, and you're like, not quite all the way, you know, maybe just a bit up and then down again. Uh, so you plot the course at least as best you think. Uh, do you want to roll a d12 for me? Most certainly. Two, two, two. Cool. Eleven. Eleven hours. Eleven. It's going to be your travel time. How many? Eleven, yeah? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven hours. Fuck me. But that's actually not too bad. It's okay. Not terrible. Eleven hours. I mean, if we had the original ship, be extremely apt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. But we don't, so it isn't. Because you'd arrive on the eleventh hour. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> as, as we're doing that, I suppose probably... Just reiterate my, my plan to the captain and kind of ask him. So, assuming this really is as dire a situation around the uh, ship crash as it's made out to be, you know, you're not going to be able to approach it. I'll stay around the show. In the city? Or we go going? Yeah. yeah. Keep well, the city. depending okay. on how far away the, the thing is for the city. Like, Might have to rent transport. Because we could just take the, the, the could just take the shuttle to the outskirts. Yeah. Should give you some protection anyway, so if we land down a safe distance, uh, 
but let's hit the city first and then from there see if we can meet conspiracy Craig and uh and arrange meeting with R Ramasethu. Um our character she didn't give us like a call me on O eight hundred D A D um or anything like that, did she? No, she no, was like it was literally just like coordinates on Akatoria. Yeah. yeah. When we get near enough, imagine she'll brain Brain scape you. you, brain zoom you, yeah. brain discord call you, facetime you, brain time you. Bra <laughs> <laughs> brain time. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, brain communicate with us, and uh, you know, once we get within X distance, so. So that sounds solid. How much do you know about Hive Market? I, how much does Lyco know about Hive Market? Lyco. What did we talk about last time? It sounds like a bit. Uh, it sounds a bit like the sort of place he might know about. Like I think if he's gonna know about parts of Akaton, Hive Market's maybe somewhere he'd be more familiar with because it has a distinct sound of being a place where money is exchanged and deals are done. Mm -hmm. Can I roll culture to see just yeah. how much I know? Yeah. I was about to recommend the same thing. I think you'll probably know pretty well, but you know, I just we'll I feel see. like some stuff came up last time about it, but um yeah. Okay, 30. Hive Market's not a place you want to park the ship unattended. Okay, well, we're parking outside. <laughs> um, yeah, like, just 100%, it will it will probably go missing, or it will be, like, unsafe to fly when you get back to it. Um, especially something as pretty looking as this. Okay, I mean, the shuttle's yeah. quite luxury yacht looking. Um, so, yeah. See, this is where Alice came in handy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um... So, because yeah. she would just bazooka people that came yeah. near her. The god. <laughs> god the ultimate god. I miss Alice. Let's get shot I think shot she was more like the without regard, uh, to be honest, um, <laughs> rather than ultimate guard. But, um, yeah, I miss Alice too. So At you... least she misses out our enemies. Yeah, yeah. right? Question mark. Anyway, um, you and plot the route, and then you maybe sit and think to yourself, do we really want to actually fly into Hive Market? Maybe that will raise too much of a like suspicion. Um, and as I said before, many people are flocking to Hive Market and the Shears, and they're both like venturing from those locations in yeah. search of this ship. Um, like, you know, the fucking treasure trove of special ancient tech. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll find like a nice little spot just outside that is a little bit camouflaged from. Because we're, we're pretty well just protected in our gear, so having a bit of a trek into town isn't the end of the world. Well, that's it. Plus, the radiation is primarily like yeah, Daz Daza is mm -hmm. irradiation, say, right? That is why it's dangerous here. It's just desert problems in it, yeah. like Akaton. I am. And Hive Market and the Shears are not radioactive. I, but somewhere between Hive Market, the Shears, and High Shanzu is that crash site. And yeah, like that big weird T shape or Y shape is like a canyon drop in yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so that's what separates Hive Market and the Shears quite nicely. I, so yeah, are you going to try and park like. I feel like probably the best place would be just sort of west of it. So like coming just shy of Hive Market. Like not quite as far away as that, but like Yeah. Like that. Yeah, sort of you know, just just outside. And because uh, I feel like if we're gonna put ourselves like right next to here, this seems like a place that would potentially attract people and animals. This is another area. I Shanzu, I don't can't remember if I read anything about that, but presumably Lyco would know something about it. But it's a named area. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's somewhere that has some significance and this is the area roughly that people are flocking to. So we wanna kinda of stay outside the circle as it were there. I was gonna say, yeah, so like your coordinates put the location to be kinda of like here. Okay. So not in that. But yeah, like not in the canyon. Closer to like that point of it. Well, we'll yeah, so land, set a course for outside Hive Market, head into Hive Market, maybe gather information, some supplies, hopefully encounter 
conspiracy Craig perhaps receive a brain message uh, and return to the shuttle and then just sort of take it south as well. You can always park in the mountains as well. Like there's no issue parking like the other side of the place um, either. Like yeah. it's up to you, whatever you prefer. You can like what about the captain? Is what do you think? Uh, well yeah if the captain has any advice obviously the Lyco will bow to his expertise as a veteran of uh, I'd like to diplomacy as as possible. That's basically it. Mountains are probably a good place for that then. So yeah. The only thing you need to worry about is obviously Local problems. Um, mountain bands. Yeah. Bands. Mm -hmm. Mountain ghost, mm -hmm. ghost bands. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'll be like clonk. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I mean, it's probably going to be like bad. show bad giants that you need to worry about, to be honest, out here. So, or the, ah, the Akeshti. I've conquered the red giants before, man. It's fine. Or the Akeshti as well. So, it's for like dragon. Akeshti? The Akeshti. Oh. Yep, mm. like kind of big red lizardy dragon people. Um, right, yeah, I know the ones. Ah, Dragonborn and other systems, really. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you just tell me where you want it to go. Point an arrow to where you want to park, and we'll park there. That seems we'll a very well, easy yeah. place. Maybe. Well, yeah, seems a bit right. Yeah, we're sort of starting to get into the foothills. At least I've got a jetpack, I can fuck it. Well, I've got it like a to jump jets, I can just jump in that canyon. If you can get in that canyon, just blank it in the middle of the canyon. I, listen, I have good survival skills. Well, decent survival skills. <laughs> and, uh, and decent equipment, so I think it'll be alright. Okay. Okay. So, yep, you start your journey. Uh, a long road. But really, it's up to space for a bit. And then... Aye. Boop. Mm. Boop. Aye, while you're doing that, um, obviously, less than an hour into that, you get our wonderful other two, Zig and Weird, arrive at, you know, Lahora Medical. The medical. Lahora <laughs> Medical. Aye, and we wait for Zig and or Weird to... Tell me what, what happens. I walk in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what is Morty there? Oh yeah, it's still his shift. Yep. Yeah. And I say Morty. I think he just like looks up, does that thing where he stands out really, really quickly. He's like, Oh jeez, you're back. That's not in the soki. No, I think that just Zig wanders in. Like you just lean just looking around from slowly. Be behind him. Keep in mind that um like weird it counts as a large creature in his armor. So he's he has like a fucking what do you call them? Beefy boy. Yeah. I was thinking more you know, it's not quite Iron Man, it's the Iron Monger. But I also was trying <clears> to think of whatever the war hammer term was. Uh Terminator. Yeah, those things. Big suits. Yeah. Yes. Big clunky boy. Big suits. Um stomp in. Yeah. And a okay. Don't worry, I found my friend. But this needs your attention. Uh, so I dropped the queen onto the floor. Yes! Do you actually drop Just her onto the floor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Relatively like carefully. I thought you just went... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's, it's, it's a valid question. Are you dropping her to the floor or putting her on the floor? It's, I don't mind it's... which, I would just like to know. So not in such a way that her head's going to smash into the floor? But definitely not gentle and ceremonial. It's more of a like you're putting down your shopping bags. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it is. It is very much unloading the queen onto the floor. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and I think he looks over like the counter kind of top thing. Um, and this kind of like makeshift medical drop-in center, and he says, um, "Oh, geez, was she fighting in the, in in the fighting pits?" The and he kind of just like starts mumbling a bit. No, she was wandering around uh, the town unsuited and then got into a fight with a potentially extra plane of being. I think he seems to not have taken in all those words, um, possibly selectively. And uh, mm -hmm. he's like chewing on some kind of chocolate stick thing. Um, and he looks over and he, he kind of is like, she must have got out of the fighting pits. And he just kind of shakes his head side to side. And he's like, um, yeah, bring her through, um, and then like he goes in like a drawer uh, behind him and brings out like 
pretty heavy duty looking just restraints. Yep. Uh, uh, and he hands grab them one to you. the back and track her through. And uh, yeah, like you bring her through, and he, he literally just hands you like these restraints, and it's like, yep, secure her. These necessary. He looks at you like really confused, like. I assume that's why you're in armor. Oh, that's so that I don't get irradiated. Yeah, but she's been exposed. The dark yes. elves can't handle radiation. Amps them up. So she's not normally this dangerous. I mean, I assume that's why she's here. Like, people bring dark elves here. Some come here by choice for some reason, and they fight. Amped up for money. That seems like a stupid idea. He kind of looks at you like, Why do you have her? I mean, it doesn't obviously say anything to you because, yeah, you are in full armor. And he's like, I think you should restrain her in case she wakes up and we're not exactly the first faces she wants to see. No, that seems entirely likely. Yes. Yeah. So, do you like help him, like, kind of basically affix these massive, like, slightly sci fi looking manacles, which are just normal manacles, but they make sci fi noises when you click them together? Zoom. Yep. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, Zig, yeah, you've got this image of them, like, literally just like, yeah, chaining her up, essentially. Um, and, like, probably looks slightly, if, you, if medieval was really a term that mattered in this world, um, yeah. it looks pretty. Very brutal. I am. Um... Yeah, I think I think Zig's doing that thing where um, he's kind of hovering, looking like he's help, like trying to look like he's helping, but really doing absolutely nothing, and probably maybe getting in the way slightly. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and he, obviously, he yeah. like you take her out of the suit of armor in here as well. Like this place is yeah. shielded enough. Obviously, otherwise it'd be a terrible medical center. <laughs> I think it's during all of that. I said to the guy, "So are these just for the medical treatment, or can we keep these on her afterwards?" I think he just looks at it and he's like, uh, "I mean," and he looks at the fact that she obviously came out of the armor naked. And he's like, "I mean, <laughs> your business is your business." And he kind of just shakes his head. Who's paying for this? She is probably. How much will it be? Oh uh, jeez, um, uh, I'll 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 need to wake the doctor for this one. I am, but so now you can wake him. He looks at and he's like, I mean, yeah, like she wakes up, she might she might even break those. That's more than likely, yes. Um, Should probably get the doctor here quickly. He kind of just like like nods, nods, and nods. Like, but um, payment will like a line of credit will need to be established before I can like. Admit her to the clinic. Yes. It's procedure. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's got enough to cover it. How are you. And he kind of looks at her and looks at you. He's like, Do you have access to her funds? Not at the moment, but she's got a pleasure yacht just to up in orbit. He kind of like runs oh. his, his hand through his hair nervously. He's like, Um. And uh, c c come back out front, please. And he, he walks back, like through to the, like in a reception yep. area. And he brings up his a uh, hollow terminal thing, and then he puts like the data slot out there. And he's like, "So, uh, if if you if you're gonna admit her, it's, it's it's you know fifty credits to admit her, and then uh, <laughs> treatment will be a, uh, well, we'd 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 need to look at her and." It depends what equipment the doctor uses to do that, and then it depends on what we need to do to like yes, keep her sedated. No. And... I interrupt him and say, "I'll pay the fifty credits now, and then we can sort out the payment once we've got treatment options on the table." And then kind of like slowly nods. Like, yep, yeah, but by by admitting her, you're you're taking responsibility for the the whole treatment costs. It would be like your details would be kept in file. He kind of like nods. That's fine. Okay, oh, okay. and he, he like essentially signs, like slides the uh, the reader over to you. And I tap my details in. Cool. Yep. So you 
attach your space credit card to it, and then, um, yeah. <laughs> Does uh, Weird actually have money? Uh, he does. Yeah, yes. I was going to say, like, we haven't actually sorted out the caps and we haven't sorted out paying the caps and back yet. Cool. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, because you've not, I think you've transferred oh, any money yes. to the captain, and I assume yep. queen costs might discount that, um, depending on what happens. It's fair. You have to pay me back. It's fair. <laughs> so, um, what a good captain. He's a good lad. And then, uh, yeah, once that's all like established and it all goes through legitimately, uh, he off like disappears through another door, and like comes back. And he's already like on like the equivalent of a cell phone already. It's probably a bit more like a an eighties cell phone than anything else, um, because of how fucking ghetto tech everything is on Akaton. But yes. you're, like, you're probably very familiar with having to have built one yourself, to be honest. Uh, weird. And then uh, mm -hmm. you're in talking away. Uh, nothing important other than just like clearly talking to somebody that's just woke up. And then puts the uh, the thing back in the room behind him. And he comes back and he's like, "You can um, you can wait w with your friend if you want." Kind of motioning back through like the kind of door you went through with her. Or 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 not? Uh, I suppose I should. Yes. And wander through. I think it's just him standing there with like a melted chocolate stick in his hand and his Hawaiian shorts with his a uh, stained yellow T-shirt on, with his coat hanging over it all. Um, and he kind of just looks down at his hand. Uh, what was Zig? What was Zig doing? I think Zig through that kind of stayed in the. Um, thingy room with the, the queen. queen while they went out. Mm -hmm. Sinida, um, that's I think he's just name. having a nosy yeah. mm -hmm. And then every now and then there's just like a convulsion, like a kind of as if it's like a really really slow heartbeat but it's like a jolt that like shudders mm -hmm. her entire body like maybe once every like 40 seconds or something. And it's just like it rattles the chains and such. I am... You know, like when like you like fall asleep and then like you get that jolt awake. It's like the same idea, yeah. same type of physical reaction. So maybe the first time that happens, like that's maybe when we hear like a, a tiny yelp or something from you, like hearing that as if you know. Yeah, I think he'd it. maybe be kind of like looking, like just kind of at the you know medical information things on the wall. Um, Oh yeah, and they're all actual like posters. Nothing's fancy or holographic or nothing. It's all actual yeah, posters think, that are stuck yeah. around. Yeah. Um, kind of like reading through one of them, and then you know the, the sort of like jolts start happening. And I think he would kind of jump and look over and kind of run over, but then one of them's about denoting, donating blood, a uh, like furry silkies as well. Because there's not I enough think of silky blood. A mental note because mm -hmm. he's never um, donated blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine some star shaman blood for all these other people. <laughs> totally fine. You might learn something about the sun. Ahem. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think right. like maybe after like what, like a minute or something? Unless you're doing anything else in the room before Weird walks back in. Um I think like Zig would like think about going over to kind of do something for like maybe do like a like a light like mystically cure thing but then kind of stop himself because every time he's tried something well maybe that's it like maybe she like here. you're reading the poster and you you see the it's okay blood you know thing that comes up in the subtitles for us and then um you get the fright from the jolt of the chains and you turn around and you see obviously like she's still definitely gone and you maybe that's when you go over and you're about to maybe like you put your kind of hand out and you go to like Think about missing yeah, that's when like, the jolt happens like the, the second time. Yeah, I think he probably jumps back, like because sort of like he's you can see like maybe his like core is starting to to glow slightly as he reaches down, and then she jolts again, mm -hmm. and he jumps back, and then I think in his head he like hears the you know when she I think she said something along the lines of you know maybe you should ask permission first or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, maybe that's when Weird walks in. 
And I think what are you doing, Zach? I was going to say, yeah, you probably can tell that he's like a wee bit, like he's just been like rattled a little bit. Uh, I was uh, just. Uh, how long's how long's the the, the doctor going to be? He doesn't live too far. I think Zig would kind of sigh. Um, just look a bit weird. And it's like, hmm. This doesn't seem good. No. That's fair. Well, we'll get in treatment for her now. I think as you say that, then she jolts again. I think Zig jumps a wee bit again still. Kind of maybe taking a step back at this point. Does she look like she's in pain or anything, or is it just jumping about? Um, it seems I don't know. It's a hard one to describe, right? Like a dog in its sleep, kicking its leg, right? Like, would you consider the dog in pain? It's hard to say, right? Yeah. So. You don't really have enough to go on, to be honest. You would need, like, how much fancy tech you got? You get anything that could actually, like, diagnose her? Like, you get anything like that built in? I do not. No. Yeah. I think it was a valid question. It's hard to tell what you can do and not do these days. Um, mm. Yeah. But yeah, I think maybe that's something that maybe goes through your mind where you're like, hmm. I think it maybe like, maybe, like, you, you treat it like a puzzle in the sense of, I can't tell what's going on with her. But if I could tell what's going on with her, maybe I should build that in. I bet you get that built-in armor. Hmm. Would that be worth getting rid of plasma can? No. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe you have a couple of thoughts about potential uh, upgrades, etc. Um, mm -hmm. To become the Omni Party. Um, and then, yeah, I think it'll take about, I think I said half an hour last time for the Doctor to get here. Um, yep. Pretty sure that's what I said last time. So yeah, I do you have anything you just want to do in the next half an hour? Because they've got 11 hours to kill, so... We may as well stick with yours for when the doctor arrives. Uh, I don't think there's anything to be getting up to specifically here. Um, I've got half a mind on Edgar, though. Oh, okay. Uh, I, want, I want to hear what the doctor's going to say first. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that's like maybe as like the time starts to tick away I, for this half an hour, maybe as you are both sat there, like Zig could, if he wanted to, mention what Lyco had said. I think, um, do you know what? He probably would. Um, I'm just trying to think of how Zig would kind of bring it up. Um, maybe sort of like... He kind of Suddenly shouting it? Edgar's a lie! No, um, <clears throat> I think, yeah, he'd maybe be, you know, maybe maybe like a couple, like five, ten minutes past, and he like pulls out his, his comm. You know, starts playing Snake on it and uh, mm -hmm. re rediscovering the the wonders of the technology that's that he has been without for, mm -hmm. for so long, um, and then maybe like another email comes through. I think you know what? Maybe he didn't even like open the 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 message from like oh, it just showed up in the notification bar, and you just read it there and just accepted he read it. So mm -hmm. it pops up again, um. Next to the the uh, underneath the the, the new like yeah because they've been sent straight from the com to com right it would have been com to com because you haven't connected to the the network here so yeah, yeah. you don't have like live internet as such but you could have got obviously the message directly from his com so yep yep yeah um and uh, yeah he would kind of look at it and he just kind of I think he would start like going over um the scene of like you know Edgar like there and like not having much time to kind of look at him we get that very sneakily in the middle of the episode previously on without the previously on where it's like you sitting there and then maybe punctuated with the jolts of the queen rattling the chains you've got the flashes of uh, you like sitting up in bed really fast seeing her covered in blood and all like bloodshot eyes and fucked up skin you see like the body of Edgar in another like flash and you've got like you outside catching your breath and then Obviously, like everybody else, like forensic sciencing the place, and they. Uh, Aye, uh, maybe we get like some nice previously on scenes. Yeah, I think I think he would just kind of like 
Luca just call and be like, hmm. Huh. Weird. Oh, it's weird. It's like we'd kind of like come out of like his, his thoughts and be like, Edgar's alive, by the way. I don't think he would say, by the way. I think he would just go, Edgar's not, not gone. God, that sounds, I... it, it sounds very much like a hope more than a fact, doesn't it? Yeah. I did say we shouldn't rule out him being dead. Uh, but like said, like I said, he's he's alive. Yeah. The only person I can think he means is is Edgar. Edgar seems the hardest to kill, certainly. Hmm. And I don't want to criticize the Queen's uh, efforts, but uh, no, he. We don't even know what he is, whether he can be killed. So, whether he is alive. Another jolt in the middle of the conversation. Do you think she heard me? <laughs> I think it's a good chuckle. <laughs> Would it matter if she had? I can't imagine it would put her in a worse mood. <laughs> They're waking up naked, somewhere she doesn't know, chained to a bed. Yeah. <laughs> I think being talked about might piss her off more. You're done wrong. <laughs> um, and I th yeah, I think Zig would just kind of go on and say, "There's, it's, there's a reason he's here." What do you mean? There's no way him being here is a mistake or an accident. No, I imagine he deliberately chose to be here. Uh, I feel yes. like he's here because we're here, not. Ah, uh, okay, it's it's not a coincidence. I just thought for a second you were suggesting that other people magically appear in places they didn't mean to be. I think Sig would kind of just motion to himself. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> And it said with the closest to a warm smile that it, he can master. In a budget medical hut with full <laughs> space suit radiation protection on with a naked dry lady chained to a bed who convulses yeah. every 40 seconds. As warm as you can get. Probably like a flickering of the horrible fluorescent lights above you. <laughs> Rad flies buzzing. You know. So did he come to talk to you about something? We spoke, but he didn't really say anything. I should have... Oh, I should have got more out of him. Hmm. Perhaps he, uh... Uh, is he still around? We can go and talk to him. Yeah. But locating him might not be... easy. Edgar's the doctor. Walks in. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this isn't like a tale of unfortunate events. Uh. <laughs> And what can I do for oh? <laughs> should I made it the musical episode? That's what she does in, for the fiftieth. <laughs> when Zig uh, went face to face to face to face with Edgar Wesseland. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Once the doctor's here and we've got some answers, then maybe we can begin a search for him. Yeah. I think maybe maybe if like the, the queen maybe convulses 
again, I think. Mm -hmm. Every 40 seconds. It could be like, yeah. Give or take. Mm. Yes. Maybe one problem at a time. And then maybe he'd go back to playing Snake on his phone. On his <laughs> com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anything else you want to have seen wise between the two of you or like for the next I think like, that's worth now. Yeah, yeah, that's quite good, yeah. Mm. Um, we can skip I to... think maybe Zig would maybe look look more at the, the blood donation poster now and again and that's that's probably about it. Yeah. And um Yeah, I think time passes. Um the uncomfortable but kind of reassuringly like predictable convulsing continues. I uh, and then you hear, like, from the other room, obviously the entrance room, you can hear, like, I don't know, weird noises, like being barked at somebody. Um, and, like, you can hear Morty's kind of muted voice through the walls, um, as if defensively explaining himself. <laughs> um, possibly because woke up a doctor who was desperately trying to sleep through the night. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. I guess rest isn't, you know, for a doctor uh, on Akaton. Mm -hmm. is, is, you know, probably a rare commodity. Yeah, right. Um, so yeah, uh, that happens. And then you can hear the exchange die down. And then the doors that separate, like, user in a room, then there's a hallway, and then there's doors out in that hallway to the main entranceway. Um, there are like a handful of rooms in this place. And the doors swing open quite violently in the hallway and then a couple of minutes pass you hear like shuffling of equipment from the other room as if somebody's like went into like a supply room or whatever and started rattling stuff around again hearing bizarre noises being kind of barked and whatnot and then in walks a Shirin in a fairly well worn <laughs> lab coat well that's very assuring <laughs> and it just starts like clicking really really like like fast at you um, and then goes over and then just like with a bunch of different instruments just automatically starts doing its uh, entire holographic full you know visual effects budget display of diagnosing the queen all the while mm -hmm. constantly talking in Sharon which yeah. I can understand perfect good so yeah walks in introduces itself as Dr. Nazmik Eklik obviously him and I ask say how long has she been fighting in the pits is the first question that gets barked at you she hasn't and then it goes no but really how, it, there's no legal problems here tell me how long she's been fighting in the pits I mean she actually hasn't we've only recently turned up she was fighting a crew member though how long has she been here in Akaton or specifically in Daza City we, this morning yesterday and how long has she been exposed to the core? Uh, what do you mean? And then he Actually, you've been in the core? And he goes explaining that, that there's a fusion core is the reason why there's so much radiation. I mean, she's been outside of the ship for X number of hours, but X is the amount of hours she was away. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, good, now could you tell me what the value of X is? <laughs> yep. And then, uh, yeah, so like, you just like bark back and forth. Just He's literally gathering as much raw data as possible about and we're just good at responding to that yeah exactly it's a, pe a perfect mechanical exchange um, <laughs> and then he kind of like stops turns looks you up and down for the first time uh, then like every now and then turns back to the holographic displays all over the queen's body now and starts keep like adjusting and whatnot but stops every now and keeps looking at you and then back and it starts to adjust it and then uh, Zig do you speak Shuren at all? Oh no. No. Cool. He starts uh, barking stuff to you. So, like, weird. He's basically saying, a little one, you should consider donating blood for the uh, Isoki. Uh, it is in incredibly short supply and high demand um, here in Daza City. And then, uh, like, again, back to diagnosing and activating bizarre holographic displays. I think oh. Zig, during, like, while well, they're. Like every time somebody barks something, I think Zig looks just in between Nix and Nasmakeklik and Nick. weird, uh, um, weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nix weird and Nasmakeklik. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, like, weird for you as well, the you understanding Shirin isn't perfect either, because there are definitely additional clicks that are not in the handbook, as it were. Like, the <laughs> language is definitely more complex than maybe normal-ish ears can pick up on. So you can probably imagine that the translation is very rough, like the equivalent of poorly translated subtitles. Um, you like you you lose out on maybe a lot of tonal meaning or historical relevance to certain phrases that um, the Shirin might apply with the way their language is like layered. Mm -hmm. um, so you know that you're pretty much getting the most base levels of conversation physically between each other, um, or audibly at least. Uh, and then it, yeah, it just kind of keeps working away. Uh, and then, yeah, is there any questions you have for him at all, or like, Zig, perhaps? Like, do you, is there a conversation you used to have about the what he said to you? A uh, weird one. Mm -hmm. Spark up about whether Zig understands it. I don't think he'd assume mm -hmm. either way. Um, so it's whether Zig says anything about that. I think Zig just looks very confused and just. His eyes yeah. are darting about the place. I think, like, he assumes that maybe anything he's saying is probably um, queen related or information gathering related. Yeah, like, to maybe describe to... it a bit more visually, like, he would have been, like, because he's quite handsy and animated that way. Um, so, very, very fast erratic movements with the holographic diagnosis machine, and then just completely stops, turns, talks away to, to weird for a bit. Stops, goes back to it, then stopped, turned to you, pointed at you while talking. I uh, obviously weird understood it. You didn't um, about the blood donation thing. Then goes back to to work, and then kind of puts it all on like a a comm device on his wrist and like brings up the holograms and is kind of reviewing it um, and just kind of stands there. So yeah, if like you've definitely got enough to go on to say that he was definitely aiming something at you. If you wanted okay. to like go I on think... that, but you don't need to. Obviously, it's just you would have enough no, to go I think, on. I think I think Zig would be like, uh... and then shrug at weird, um, and shrug at the doctor, and be just kind of go, huh? Yeah, I don't think it's enough for you to assume that he doesn't understand the language, mm -hmm. rather than he just he's lost in the complexity of everything going back and forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... like. Yeah. So like weird yeah. just looks at him and then kind of like, I guess looks back at the doctor. Yep. And oh, I guess he's just sorry he doesn't want to donate. Yep, makes sense. Well, actually, donating blood is a strange thing for androids anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, just just make some. Yeah. Just synthesize mm -hmm. it, right? Um, but yeah, the uh, doctor then just seems to be lost in this data pad worth of knowledge uh, that he seems to be cycling through. And then kind of looks up at you and then taps on like the hologram and then holds it out to you. And it's a bill mm. for like 12,000 credits. Um, what does this cover? Hand you like the, the data pad over. And uh, you can see a lot of it is a rental of the space, rental of the equipment, um, the staff, the out of hours call. Um, you know, right down to like the the hand wipes to even come in the room. Um, I based it loosely on a really archaic medical system. Um, yeah, you might recognise it. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> that's too dystopian. I don't believe it. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> what country in their right mind, the really planet with a? This is just so inefficient. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, not that we're political at all in this game. And um, never. Yeah, so that happens, uh, and it's it's pretty much the entire treatment plan is um, trying to rebond a lot of the cellular structure in the skin uh, and like the kind of deeper tissue. Also, the like, the bones seem to have been like bizarrely decayed, like they've been what's the right word? Like withered, maybe is a, a better mm. term. I am um, atrophied. Yeah, I think like. I feel, Atrophied bones, though, is a bit weird. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I feel withered is the one I want to stick with with that one. Um, the blood seems to have became, like, toxic. Um, he's highlighted a lot of bizarre 
carbon dating issues with the diagnosis equipment. So for the more expensive diagnosis equipment, you've been charged for that also to kind of confirm the second opinion machines um, mm -hmm. as well. And the like the entire treatment and like replacement of her blood, etc., as well, uh, is also included in the twelve thousand. So yeah, it's oh, it's a massive list of everything. Um, oh, mate, they offered to pay half now and half when we're done. And he kind of just like blinks as many eyes at you, and then starts like barking away with his clicks and clacks and. Uh, Essentially, it translates to, uh, unfortunately, um, charges will have to be processed before treatment can be started. Treatment can't be done in, in stages. It, it, it's all or nothing. That her life's at risk, and if she's not a fighting pit, I, I assume she's important to you. Yes, but unfortunately, I don't have that amount of money available immediately. We could suspend Whereas... treatment until you do have that available within your accounts. We could uh, hold her here no. until then. It would only be a mere extra 100 credits to hold her for at least a day. Yes, but my access to funds is reliant on getting her conscious. Ah, uh, very problematic, I see. And lots of kind of clicks and tappings of his, like, you know, mandibles and whatnot. Yes. It's like, mm. uh, However, unfortunately, what's... your problem. Not, not our problem, unfortunately. Financials are our problems. You're free to keep her as collateral after we're done if you uh Oh ho ho <laughs> and like, he, 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 like the clicks are like almost like oh. whistles when that happens. Mm -hmm. And he says, No 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 no. Uh, it's like slavery of no interest to Nazma Kicklick. Fighting just bad letting people die. Just good for business in these times. Many others would die who could pay. Payment mean more people get treated. Selfish decisions lead to more deaths. I don't think that's... Uh, so what's taking so long? Why is he not doing anything? Yeah, because that exchange is probably quite... Credits. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that exchange is probably not heated, but it's probably very fast, brisk. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. They need money that I don't have. Well, are you speaking in common back to him, or are you speaking in... Uh, I'm speaking in... No, I mean, oh, yeah, I mean weird, because it's... Yeah. How how do you want to have been replying? Because obviously that means Zig would have heard half of your conversation. Oh, no, I was replying to the doctor in... In Shuren? Uh, Shuren. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it, that makes more sense that he doesn't to understand. To, so to, to talk to Zig. Cool. So. And saying... I think the doctor's just looking between the two of you as you speak in this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, saying that we need money, which I don't have. And they won't treat her until we have money. Mm. Obviously, I she mean, convulses on the table every 40 seconds. <laughs> I think Zig would pull out his... Uh... Just call and be like, no, no, check his, <laughs> check his bank balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go is like, uh, well, how much, how much do we need? Like, twelve thousand. Oh. No. I have cash. You should definitely be able to afford that. Callum definitely can't. Well, <laughs> Zig can't afford this, but Callum really wants that armor that he can't afford. But Zig would the pay for it. Just up as all. <laughs> yes, play your character. Zig would do the right thing. So, but Zig would pay for You're it. Cool. So I just want to say, I'm this this pains Callum, but That's right, I'll show the queen. Like, Zig would just like hold out the, the calm and just remember you, need, you would need to connect yourself up to the the network. I think he would just hand his calm to too weird. <laughs> Why not? It's every every other time you do that. So yeah. oh my god. I'd probably get haunted back for 10 sessions. I think as well, um, where do you understand that Zig needs to be the one that actually authorises all this shit? Like, it's it's coded to him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I put it all up and put it in the details and then hand it to him to thumbprint it. Mm -hmm. Zig does. I feel like maybe this has been a... This has probably happened quite a lot in the past. <laughs> yeah, you probably helped set up his bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the spreadsheets in the background. Oh, dear. Uh -huh. You were like the... Was it the professional that has to help 
approve of the application to the Bank of Abadar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Co-signing and everything. <laughs> Maybe I don't know if I would allow you that much access personally as co-signer, <laughs> co-signator, but yeah. Um, you probably did help him set it up initially. Um, yeah. you, probably, you probably helped set up like the cruise bank accounts for the crew work, right? That does make sense because I know you and the captain, as an X five, um, you's had access to the bank accounts. It was the two of you, because it wasn't Emmelyn because she was a smuggler, pirate, thief. I remember yeah. that much. Um, and that's another recording somewhere in the background. Um, oh, I'm take what was it? Twelve. Twelve thousand. For the full, the full treatment. Mm. Oh jeez! Better get this back. <laughs> you could just not treat her. Uh, I want to, but. Mm. <laughs> oh man, that leaves me like eleven thousand. Barely enough to treat her again when she runs about again. It's slightly unethical not to, right? <laughs> Says the vest with the slightly. monocle on the comm device. <laughs> Let me just put my judging glasses on. <laughs> so yeah, Let's, you thumbprint it away, Zig. Yeah. Mm. Cool. I as my cat looks just kind of standing there, like clicking away with his hands, I guess, just waiting on whatever's happening happen. Yes. Once it's done, I say there you go. Begin the treatment. He says, "Excellent, good. Would you be liking to wait in the reception, and I can keep you updated if you want to leave your details, if you wish. I should be should be safe here." Yes, uh, I will leave my com details and, and make sure Zig has his com bag pinned to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> P- pushes into mouth, <laughs> yeah. um, into pocket, a hair pouch, and uh, yeah, I think. Um, as you are like leaving the room, uh, there's like another convulsion from the the queen, and then uh, the doctor is like nodding, and then just repeats to Zig like on the way out, like don't forget to obviously, you know, check out the blood donation drive. Like please do that, please do that. We need Oops. the blood, but obviously it's all I insurance. It. Yeah, it just I seems like Zig aggressive just... like judgment. <laughs> please don't hurt me. Well, I don't think it'll. It, I... I think you need your consent to take your blood. This is the first you're hearing of blood. <laughs> um, what he, what, what, what's he gonna? What's why does he want? Is he gonna drink it? Like what? Or oh, what kind of weird? What place is this? It's a medical center. He just wants your blood. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go find that zombie. Just wants your blood. <laughs> My name um, is Doctor Nasma Keklik. Va. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's what, what so funny, he, why man. does he want my blood? Right. Mm-hmm. I think he would just kind of. But maybe you can put two and two together because maybe the, the poster, to... like maybe you remember the poster about donating blood. I think maybe he'd like walk past like another billboard poster, like on the way out or something. Mm-hmm. It will make him a very wealthy bug. And um. I think maybe I mean, maybe I'd like go and inquire at the way. desk maybe. Well, I'd put you pay the bill in and you soak your blood. Like... <sighs> <sighs> Let's go find some you soaky then. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just quickly Dumped. do a couple of murder one shots for you guys then, yeah. That's it. The actual bounty Nixon hunting game. That... Another. Yeah, it's like bounty hunting a bunch of us soaky. Uh, I mean, I think the demand for blood would go down as well as the supply going up, if that is the case. Uh, um, we'll just leave, we'll only drain a bit of the blood. Oh, so in fact, you're really not. You're just you're doing nothing except selling a bag. That doesn't help <laughs> anyone. <laughs> it helps us. We get the money. Not if I make sure it costs you enough to hunt them. Yeah. <laughs> so come try them, give them it back, yeah. charge them for it back. I think Zig would inquire at the desk because he like if he walks past like another like maybe bigger like sign going ah oh, blood see um because you know he's got a soft spot for his fellow fellow kind mm-hmm. yeah so I think um there is a 
like Morty at the desk is already talking to somebody that's just walked in. It's like some kind of dishevelled android I, up at the kind of desk scratching their neck constantly, muttering something about trash. <laughs> This Titan stepped out of the ward. As I was say, because yeah, you've walked out. You're back in reception now. Um, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And as you like walk out of the, the kind of double doors that lead into the other room access, you've got a I think we call it a hall, not the other room access room. Um, you step out of there into the reception, and as I said, there's just this again dishevelled looking android up there scratching his neck constantly while talking away to Morty, and Morty just looks like he wants to die. To be honest, so yeah, uh, it's up to you, Ziggy. You're gonna go up to the desk and try and get noticed. Yeah, you I haven't... think I'll try to like wave them um, his attention, like excuse me. And then um, I think like <laughs> the android like kind of turns around and blinks its orange eye and then blinks its cyan eye separately, and then it's like you gotta you gotta wait your turn. You gotta wait your turn, buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, I just uh, I just wanted to ask something. I'll be look, two seconds. And he kind of looks at you, licks his thumb, and then like holds it like over your eyes, and then like grabs like the sides of your helmet, and like just stares at you. Um, and you see like his orange eye fl uh, flicker a bit. If you take that helmet off him, I'll snap you in two. He looks more like he's trying to inspect closer, <laughs> like see through the glass more so than actually. Like, I'm just not letting the off the yeah. possibility arise. This yeah, a hundred percent. That's fine. <laughs> that works. And um, um. yeah, it's like, like as you say, like if you you know try and remove them, it's like I'm just getting a look, 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 and he's staring really closely. It's like, and he steps back. And he's like, people were looking for you. Got to hide. Got to hide. Can't be too safe. Cops. We already found it. He looks at you. He's like, are you buying? And he quickly looks at Morty and then quickly looks back at you. I've got better stuff than this place. Do you? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. What's your treatment for radiation poisoning? He starts rubbing his chin like he's in deep thought. Mm. And he doesn't answer. I kind of nudge Zig towards the desk. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna. I'm just gonna say while this goes while this goes on, I want to just like yeah. maybe pull myself up onto the desk if it's much higher than me. It's not that. Yeah, like you, you could probably see. Like you can see over it. Yeah. Um, maybe just like a Yusoki size stand. <laughs> I think Morty's just amazed that you got him stuck to stop talking. Um, <laughs> and then he looks down at you and he's like, "Did you get your friend?" Sorted. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was just how how do I donate blood? Okay, for, well, I mean, I mean, we'd, we'd we'd take a sample of your blood, we'd test it, and then if it's good, you can donate as much as you can afford to to lose. I and we can make sure you get to the right center. You wouldn't be donating the blood here. It would be. Another location, but I can get you all the details. And he kind of like leans over and like brings it up on his kind of data pad thing. He's like, "Is it something you you want to do? I could, we could take the blood now." Uh, sh sure. Kind of looks up at a weird, almost as if when you look at a kid's parent to be like, "I understand me and the kids have a conversation." However, is this okay? Uh, weird shrugs one set of his arm shoulders mm -hmm. and says it's his blood the guy looks a bit more like relaxed like you're not going to just kill him if he like tries to take blood from me so given that you were just very parental with the android <laughs> and uh, he's like come through the back we'll get the, the blood taken it's a bit more yeah and he, he, he motions through uh, I guess like a big kind of needle gun thing and says you'll need to take off your armour. Is it um I mean he isn't wearing armor and he just looks like a dude, like a human. So Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess like I'll probably wait until I'm in the back. 
before yeah. I take off anything, you know. Yeah, like for like if you actually had like a Geiger counter, like the radiation's very minimum inside. Like the buildings yeah. are made out of like it seems like whatever Daza was originally made out of is enough to shield from a lot of the radiation. Um which is why certain people go into certain streets because certain streets are like straight lines to the core. They don't have like cutoffs that would block it. Like Wi Fi uh -huh. in your home. Um it's a straight run to the rear. Hence like the yeah. the street where all the noodles were on, that was one of the problems. And this is like off of that street, so You've yeah. got and I think I think having like seen the, the the queen is obviously, well maybe not fine, but like no, she's definitely not fine. She's twelve thousand credits worth of medical um, bills. But, um, <laughs> yeah, but um, like the, you know, the the doctor, um, obviously didn't seem to feel that she needed to be in. Uh, you know, a special, like, radiation-proof tank or something, you know, it's just in the room then. I mean, for the, all intents and purposes, the building is, right? Radiation-proof. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think, but he'd still wait until he's in the back room before taking off yeah. his arm and stuff. Yeah, for privacy reasons, obviously. Oh, um, well, yeah. Yeah, unless you're going to be weird about it, there's no reason to be descriptive. They take some blood. Cool. And they, they're like, right, cool, just need to fill out your comm details and we'll let you know if it's good to go and if you don't hear from us well yeah it won't be if there's anything that we detect that you probably should know we'll let you know um, but that information right. might have a cost to release to of course it will gotta fund the clinic somehow I think it's a good you know get you know getting back into his armor and leave again yeah Morty files it away I guess and there we go yeah and then um, I think as you're like walking back out of the like in the back room, I think we've still got the the android sitting, kind of scratching his chin, in the same pose as if staring at Zig's face, even though Zig's long since moved away. And then he kind of turns up to to weird, and he's like, "Leeches." That seems ineffective. And kind of like again blinks his orange eye or maybe he doesn't maybe it just flickers and he's like no 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 leeches I've seen it done once took the radiation it... right out of the guy did he survive? no that was because he got shot <laughs> at the same time? well I shot him when were the leeches applied to him? After. I don't think that really helped. Hmm. I don't think you're a medical professional. I mean, he, like, cocks his head as if something's just came to him, and he puts his hand out to you really quickly and politely stands up really straight and goes, My name's Sparks. Hi, Sparks. I'm weird. Do you shake his hand? Yes. And he kind of like he does that thing, like the salesman grasp, where he puts his other hand over yours and he shakes it, just and he just starts to babble at you about how I put another it, hand on either side. Yeah, so like you, <laughs> you overhand him, and uh, he, he keeps like kind of shaking as best he can. I think maybe he takes that as a sign of encouragement that you've put more hands on. He's like, you know. I came to Akaton to make my fortune, you know. I can't remember how long ago it was. God, it was, you know, it was glorious back. It's still a shithole, but like gloriously full of potential. Um, now it's full of cops. He just kind of shakes his head disappointedly. <laughs> and he's still shaking your hand at the whole time. And says, I'm not sure that it is. This is the thing, though. You can't be sure, you can't be sure, you can't be sure, can you now? You have to just be careful. You can't just be trusting anything that you meet. See? You thought I was a doctor. Yeah. Not me. Nope. No siree. <laughs> Have you tried asking them? They had to tell you. Asking who? Cops? Yes. Do they have to tell you? See, the sneaky ones yep. don't know, and they should, but they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. Uh, then it doesn't count. Does it not? Good. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Unless you're a cop. <laughs> Are you a cop? I couldn't say. Could you not? Why not? <laughs> no. I couldn't say either. That's why I asked. You said I should ask. Well, yeah, but what if I don't know that I'm a cop? <gasps> and his eyes go really wide, and then, like, the orange <laughs> bulb bursts. <laughs> And I think he just 
just like, like a fucking MK Ultra of shit. And then as, after like his, after the orange bulb burst, he just like stop shaking your hand. He's like, this is a lot to think about. And he just walks out. And I just shout, try Conspiracy Craig's website. And, uh, whether he acknowledges that or not is unsure. Um, <laughs> and off he walks. <laughs> Slightly weird shuffling. Um, uh. I think we'll take a break there uh, for 10 minutes. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so good. Uh, because I feel like I want him as part of the crew now. Um, oh, God. I, I would shank him after I a while. I would probably opium. have a heart attack to the RPM. Uh, <laughs> you uh-huh. would get him flung in the airlock. Just keep like, some monster day, energy on in hand. Uh, yep, I'm 100% energy drink free since the age of 16. So how dare you. Um... But anyway, uh, yeah, we'll come back in about 10 minutes, guys. Uh, Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.